Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys are already subscribed, thank you so much. So today's video is the boy M1 is not working on my PC. I have the same problem. So I have five steps of fixing this. So let's get to it. So being number one is originality. Make sure the box that you get is the same like the one showed on the real page but in this case this boy m1 does a lot of imitations because the boy m1 has a very good sales out there on the internet some are updated some are not so this one i got from lawyer uh, i got this at 79 ringgit is the certification right here it's just simple as that this is the audio quality you guys are getting if you guys are recording this way i'm recording straight to the obs make sure everything is the same I got this from an official shop. Hopefully they are not also buying a fake one. This is my box. If you guys are having different, do let me know down in the comment down below. So second, you have to make sure the cables that you are running through is not bent or kink or anything. Make sure it is in good condition because sometimes you might, you know, blame whether this is not original. This is the sound is not coming in. Sometimes you overlook the little things. Make sure there's no water damage. No one have sat on it. No one have stepped on it or anything on this mic because this is a very uh, low budget, not robust kind of mic. It tend to break easily. So that's number two. So number three, make sure you don't forget to switch this to camera mode because everyone keeps on forgetting. That also depends on your battery placement. Even though you switch this thing on to camera mode and doesn't work as well, it's because your battery is not in place correctly. That's false to number four, which later I'm gonna explain to you guys. Okay, just for this purpose of testing, I'm gonna take out my microphone from the mic, which is the pink one. Make sure you connect to the pink one, okay? Because some people just don't know where to plug it in. They probably plug it in on the green one, which I don't really think that you guys are don't know about that plug in that thing on the mic input not the green one okay i'm gonna make sure my chanter microphone is working take, take it out right now so boya m1 is already taken out and i'm currently recording it with the uh, chanter microphone okay make sure guys make sure that this thing right here is switched on to camera reason being this is showing three lines meaning this is a trrs jack so it only works for phones and it will say external mic is plugged in press record test 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 see that there's a waveform forming okay let's say i'm gonna switch this to camera mode hello 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 no waveform no waveform no waveform hello 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 see okay now while recording what if i were to switch this to smartphone Hello, 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 hello. See guys, if you run a current through it, it turns into a TRS. That's the reason why you have a battery on. In order for it to work on a computer, in order for it to work on a camera, it changes from three lines to two lines with the help of this converter. So it's a two-in-one. You guys don't have to spend the SC3 cable from Rode SC3, you know what I'm saying, or SC6. I think it's SC3, yeah. Okay guys, number four. So number four, battery placement. Note that the positive and the negative a smooth top is to the spring and it should make sure the cloth of inside the compartment does not interfere with the battery surface when it's when it's like transferring electric or something okay that's the battery guys so this is the surface here there's a positive sign if you guys can see that so the top is positive the bottom is negative so you have to put this positive to positive the spring is negative, I've been told, so it's positive, negative, and positive. Alright, so let's get to it. Make sure the cloth is in. Make sure the cloth doesn't interfere with the battery as you proceed to putting it in. And then, I test it out first whether it works or not. So number 5 is basically installing the right drivers, which is the Realtek HD audio driver. I leave the link down below for you guys to install. Okay, after downloading the file on this page, which is this one, you see the real type HD audio driver and so on. You go for this one. 252 megabytes of size. And this is the file, guys. It's called 0 0964-bit, which I'm running 64-bit. Uh, 252 megabytes. Uh, yeah. And when you installed, like so, it's pretty straightforward. It's like this. 
and it's trying to extract all the data and so on from the file and you just click next 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 and ditto for in this case i'm just going to show you guys how it looks like just press next and then you get this page next next installing shield wizard all right so yes i want to restart my router i will start later all right press start type control panel press enter and go to hardware and sound and you go to sound double click and go for recording and here we see there's only chanter microphone as soon as i plug in this one this cable to the pink color at the back of your computer or your laptop make sure that this button is switched on to camera mode and let's go test it out so as you guys can see uh, there is no indication of real tech yet because we just download the driver so i'm gonna switch restart my computer and you guys can see the difference all right let's go restart the computer we're just back after restarting the computer let's check it out whether our real tech driver is in or not so let's get to it so this thing just pops out right after i restart my computer yes uh why, why is it like the second one? I'm not sure. I don't remember having this installed. Um, okay, never mind. Just keeps on installing. Possibly they asked me to restart the computer again. That's a possibility. It's pretty slow than usual. Installing wizard. All right. Yes, I want to restart my computer now. I just prefer that way. I need to stop my recording. So we're back on the second restart. I don't know why they asked me to restart again, guys. So. Let's go check out whether the driver is installed or not. Okay, first thing, go to start, control panel, hardware and sound, sound, recordings. You guys can see that there's a real tech um, logo now. And all right, you see that? There's a peak over there. And there is a confirm, um, how to say sound. Hey guys see that that is the blink right over there the green okay this is the microphone that is connected to the rear panel 3.5 jack uh, there's a test here listen at the levels here make sure you go for like 10 rather than 30 uh, 30 is gonna spike out a lot on OBS so I don't advise you guys to do that unless you guys want to uh, microphone goes to 100% 100 so microphone you go all the way to 100 and microphone boost at 10 plus db okay and press ok press ok so now i'm going to show you guys how are you going to install this on obs so this is obs okay press plus i'll do input capture type boya one boy m1 is it m1 with the dash no it's that the way around we are dash m1 okay looks clean press ok Go to microphone, real tech, high definition audio, and then press OK. There you have it, guys. This top one, Boya M1. I'm gonna switch off my chanter now. Test, test, one, two, three, testing. If you go to the settings button here, the gear. And this one, the Boya M1 is at zero dB. If you guys remember, just now we just did 10 dB for the boost so we don't need to worry about this even that 10 dB you guys can see that that spiking is already red on the OBS so it's not advisable for you guys to peak the, your boost all the way up at 230 so 10 is enough and 100, 100 just now for the volume so this is it guys this is the Boya M1 alright guys so the problem that I had with my Boya M1 is number four the battery placement my cloth actually interfered with the battery and the spring so guys that's it for me hopefully you guys enjoyed this video the best part about leveling mic when you switch camera you can you guys can still talk a very far distance but still getting the high quality sound guys so peace out hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please comment down below and please subscribe it really helps with the algorithm press the like as well guys love you guys peace
is sketchy, everything is sketchy uh, On them boys, I can uh, weird and I know they're sketchy Can't you say you're uh, for some change, everything be messy, messy. Put some money on your head and you become busy, messy Snap up on the side, yeah, shoot you on the side, side.